Astros hosting the Padres, and the Padres are plus 130 on the money line. The Astros are minus 155. The over-under is 10 runs. The Padres, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 155, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one run, you'd win. And the Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 130, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, there's only one casino right now that has any odds for them, and I imagine that there's a few places that have the Padres as undecided for the pitcher. So if they decide to swap out Hill, this line may get worse tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord. If you have not yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com, click on the membership, as of right now, I'm 4-0 in my MLB best picks, and if the Giants win, it will be 5-0, so I would have a great day. Um, I don't expect to have that every day, but it's nice when it does happen. Now, Hill pitched once against the Astros this year as a member of the Pirates. Six innings, two runs, two earned, and they actually lost that game 7 to nothing. He didn't strike anyone out in that game. They are 0-5 as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging... 3.2 innings pitched and 2.4 strikeouts per game in those games. France did not pitch against the Padres either last year or this year. They are 3-2 and two in his last five starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 4.2. And the over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The Padres are 7-3. and three. The favorite is 6-4. and four. The favorite laying a run and a half on the run line, 6-4. and four. And there's been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. The over is hit in their last two. And the over is 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 games. And the over at 10 is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 3 in their last 10. Now, of course, today, because I finally decided to jump off the bandwagon of picking against Lugo, I pick with him, and he loses. So... It just go figure. The Astros win 7-5, and the game before that, the Padres won 11-2. The Padres are 5-5 five five in their last 10. The over is hit in their last two games, and the over is 5-4-1. For the Astros, they are 4-1 and one in their last five, 6-4 in their last 10, and the over is 7-2-1 in their last 10 games. Now, if it's Hill, I definitely do not trust Hill. I'm not completely sold that it's going to be him. So if I was going to bet this game, I would wait until tomorrow, like right before the game, to make sure they're actually throwing who they're going to say they throw or just wait until the game starts because a lot of times you'll get better odds in-game than you do pre-game. I'm going to take the Astros with the money line. I'm going to take the Astros laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.